So I'm on a train on my way back to London, hurtling along, and it's always a really good time to start writing outlines for videos. But I'm looking at this white page and it's as blank as my mind is right now. A lot of the reasons are because I had such a great time in Middlesbrough. I see my family for the first time in two years and it was amazing. I see my mom, my brother, my sisters, all of my family. It was truly amazing. And not only that, I got to see my team, a big part of my team that I haven't seen in over two years. And I even got to meet new members of my team, people I've never met. So my mind is absolutely buzzing. And then I think back to some of the conversations, telling them about how well we're doing as a company, how many more people are going headless. And they ask me, why? Why is this happening now? In fact, why does someone move from an old e-commerce platform to a headless system? And then that's how I got it. I thought, that's what I need to put on this paper. So that's what I've done. So I spent the remaining two hours writing down all my reasons, all my reasons why you should go headless and why headless is the future of e-commerce. But there was one problem. I'm 30 minutes away from London. I looked down, I've got pages and pages and pages of reasons. So what I have to do is choose the best ones and consolidate them wherever possible. And I've moved the 53 that I had into just 13. Are these 13 enough? Well, I'll leave it down to you guys. And to make it easy, I put it into three sections. Those from a technical perspective, and those from a customer's perspective, and those from a business perspective. Let me know in the comments if you think there should be more in this, or what you think. But for now, let's get to it. Let's start with technology. Number one, you get to choose your own technology. You get to choose your own frameworks. You get to choose whether you go React, whether you go Vue, whatever UI framework you want, you can choose. You get to choose your own architecture. As a technologist, you can choose whatever you want to do. The only restriction are the APIs and the microservices you get from the vendors you choose. There's obviously value in having the power to choose, but it goes beyond that. One of the greatest challenges we have right now in terms of building technology teams is the competition for talent. If you've got some old scripting language or something very specific, no one's really that interested in doing that anymore. All the new generations of developers and technologists are all excited about new frameworks and modern ways of doing things. And not only that, your own internal teams are gonna be excited because they get to use the latest technologies. They're not stuck in the mud of the old world. Number two, development can be much faster, more efficient because you can do the development in specific areas. You can do the development in the front end and the UX without having to do entire vertical slices through the architecture like he did in the old days. One small change, you don't have to change the front end, you don't have to change the server side technology, and you don't have to change the database. You do it in one place so it's quicker, faster, and easier. Number three, the reduced amount of dependencies in the architecture means you can actually do pure product agile development because the architecture supports it and you don't have to go down a false waterfall approach. Number four, the API approach of headless means that it's much faster and quicker and more seamless to integrate other systems. Number five, continuous integration and continuous development is much easier to do in this world. It means you can do smaller, faster, incremental releases into live with a much faster cadence for release cycles. So now we're gonna focus on the customer and we're at number six. And what we have, performance. Performance, performance. What am I saying by that? Using this type of architecture, using headless, your page load times are gonna be massively faster than they were in the old world. In the old world, you have to send a request to the server. The server had to do massive amounts of processing, gather all the data, gather all the content, create the render, and then send it back up the pipe to your browser. In the headless architecture world, you're dealing with API requests, which are much faster. They're smaller packages of of information that are passing over the internet and the latency is far less than a page request. But why is that important? It's proven that website conversion rates drop by almost four and a half percent for each additional second of page load time. The probability of bounce rates increases by 32% as page load times go from one second to three seconds. Reason number seven, and the freedom of their technology to define the right experience for your customers means your customers get a much better customer experience. It means your customers get a far better experience than they would in the old world. And why are those experiences better? For a start, there are no page refreshes. It's an app experience. If you go down a PWA route, you also get the ability to have degraded experiences offline. If you have the right 
relevant and consistent customer experiences, you'll get far better customer engagement with your brand. One quick further, if you like this video so far, can you please just scroll down a little bit, press that like button, and I'd appreciate it, and it helps everybody else enjoy this video. Thank you. Number eight, headless is what you need if you want to give a fantastic omni-channel experience. It just allows you to have that consistency in the content, the consistency in the data, and the consistency just in the entire experience. So now let's focus on the business. And here is number nine. If the last two years have proved nothing else, it's proved that the business environment is always changing and you need as much flexibility as possible. And that's what Headless E-Commerce gives you, a fantastic amount of flexibility. The system level flexibility allows you to add and remove new features and functionality quickly. It allows you to try out new vendors. The API approach gives you so much flexibility when it comes to the backend system integration. The fact that the UI is also super flexible means you can do far more experimentation it can be faster, more responsive to what the user needs are. Headless e-commerce also gives you the flexibility to integrate into so many more channels, including social like Snapchat, Instagram, and Pinterest, not to mention marketplaces like Amazon. So let's go to reason number 10. The environment is not only changing, that change seems to be accelerating, which means you need to be far more agile than you ever have before. And that's what Headless e-commerce gives you, pure agility and speed of development. It stops that slow, clunky process that businesses have had to deal with for a long time around the long development, test and deploy cycles. It's no longer like wading through masses of treacle to get to the end point. It's like doing a super fast sprint. Number 11, it's not just about change. It's not just about the speed of that change. It's also the uncertainty. You really do not know what's coming next. Issues like the pandemic and the need for curbside pickups, it's a a perfect example how businesses and systems need to adapt to an ever-changing environment. And the great thing about headless e-commerce, the systems and the APIs means that you can be more adaptable than ever. Reason number 12. So the massive changes that e-commerce has gone through in the last two years and the shift of digital to being the primary channel. It means that brands are competing on experience, not just the product. Customers are looking to engage with the brand, engage with their values, engage with their story, not just the product specifications, the price. You need clear, differentiated user experiences. And headless e-commerce is seeing the realization of true personalization, not just product recommendations, but the personalization of the experience itself. APIs are enabling us to connect the content management system to the e-commerce system to the personalization engine. Things like the atomization of content and content as data is allowing us to assemble new types of customer experiences all dynamically on the fly. And the freedom from templates and pages means you can really represent your brand values and tell that story that customers want to engage with. Number 13, as the environment is so uncertain, what I like to say is you need to be future ready, not future proof. And what do I mean by that? Well, future proof means any changes in the future won't impact your system and won't impact your business. And in my opinion, that is unrealistic. As businesses, we just need to know that there are going to be unknown unknowns and I have a system that is ready and waiting to deal with them. One of the best features of headless architectures and headless e-commerce is the ability to continually and rapidly make changes, which means that you can continually innovate. You can continually test and continually experiment and continually improve your system. This means that you can always be forward looking and anticipate changes as they happen. It means you are ready for those unknown unknowns and you are ready for the future. So in summary, the business environment is continually changing. And in the last two years, customers' expectations have changed massively. A lot of that has been down to the pandemic, but it's also generational. New, younger generations are expecting far more from our customer experiences. Digital has become the primary channel. Stores are gonna open soon, but it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be the same as before. And we are all gonna to have to think differently about what the new customer experiences are, how digital and our physical stores interact together. And that will bring up new challenges in terms of the architecture, in terms of being flexible, in terms of being adaptable. This brings even further uncertainty of how to effectively engage with our customers. And that's why people are switching to a headless e-commerce architecture 
because it's faster to develop, it's far more agile, it's more flexible, and it can adapt far more quickly to changing environmental factors. Not only that, it allows us to create those engaging application-like experiences that our customers crave for right now. Ultimately, we need that platform that allows us to build experiences for today and for tomorrow, not those experiences we had in the past. That's all I've got time for right now, and I hope you found those 13 reasons useful. And if you found it useful, please show your appreciation and press that like button so that we can share this video to more viewers and other people can benefit from the advice. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.